In Revenge of the Sith, we see Anakin's actions throw the galaxy into a state of turmoil, where the Jedi are dead and the Sith rule everything. Due to Padme's death, her children were left without parents and in need of a safe home far from the reaches of the Empire. Now in the main timeline, we see Obi-Wan take Luke to Tatooine to be raised by the Lars, and Leia to Alderaan to be raised by the Organas. This did eventually work, but the issue with it was that neither child was given sufficient training as they grew up. In fact, they both had no knowledge that they were force sensitive at all. Something I've always wondered about when theorizing about their upbringing is how things would have changed if they were both trained in the ways of the force from a young age. But to take it a step further, what if they were trained by Anakin's former apprentice Ahsoka Tano? This would change the events that we know and love today. As the kids are born, Yoda, Obi-Wan and Bail Organa decide what they're going to do next. They toy with a few different ideas. This was a big decision and if chosen wrong, the galaxy may never recover. It is ultimately decided that Ahsoka will be the perfect person to raise the children and act as their mother figure growing up. Both Yoda and Obi-Wan know the type of person Ahsoka is. The fact she left the Jedi Order and followed her own path is almost the reason that she is perfect for this task. She won't corrupt the children with outdated dogmatic views of the Jedi. Obi-Wan is able to quickly reach out to Ahsoka. These two were close, not nearly as close as say her and Anakin, but they had shared the battlefield on countless occasions and carried much respect for one another. As she arrived, she immediately understood the assignment and responsibility of what was being asked of her. The three discussed Anakin and what happened to him. Ahsoka trembled at the possibility of Anakin being dead. Despite everything, Anakin was Ahsoka's best friend. She couldn't comprehend the fact that he had fallen to the dark side of the force. Ahsoka says her goodbye to her old friends and leaves the medical bay with the children. Where they were going, only Yoda, Obi-Wan and Bail Organa would know. As they travelled across the galaxy, she made it to her home world of Shili in which she hadn't been in years. Landing on the remote place on the planet, she found a home where the kids will settle down. This would be where they stayed for the foreseeable future, away from distractions but more importantly, away from any potential risks. The Empire was ruthless and if they discovered what Ahsoka was doing raising the children of Skywalker, Palpatine would have them slaughtered. The next two decades would be spent raising the children. Starting from birth, Luke and Leia completed simple force training exercises. Things such as raising small rocks and stones, pushing and pulling leaves into the air and feeling the force around them. To become a Jedi Master takes time years of hard work and dedication to study the force. Out in the middle of nowhere on Shili, the kids would have an endless amount of time to train and practice. They were powerful. Their raw talent in the force was like none other. The Chosen One genetics had allowed them to experience power on a level unknown to any other Jedi in history. Except Anakin, of course. Despite their long training hours, Ahsoka still treated the children as her own and allowed time for fun and relaxation. Luke and Leia considered Ahsoka their real mother without having any knowledge of who their real mother actually was. They became a true family with their years of solitude together. Throughout the years, she would receive the odd visit from Obi-Wan or Bail Organa to check up on them. They couldn't communicate frequently out of risk of the Empire discovering their secret, which meant Obi-Wan was left worried for months at a time. The older they got, the more intense their training became. As they entered their teenage years, training with a lightsaber became more and more frequent. Ahsoka introduced different lightsaber forms and flourishes to get Luke and Leia familiar with their sabers. She primarily taught them both Form 5 fighting style, as her master Anakin Skywalker once taught her. This style focused on taking the defensive capabilities of Form 3 and making it more aggressive to pressure their opponents. They trained for hours every day, perfecting their abilities. In a funny way, 
Ahsoka was training the children of Skywalker to be able to fight Vader directly. All of her moves and techniques once taught to her by Anakin were direct counters to Darth Vader's large and stable frame. When they were old enough, Ahsoka explained everything to them. Who they were, their importance, their family name, everything. She didn't spare any details. After all these years, Obi-Wan had figured out that Anakin was still alive and was the tyrant Darth Vader in the metal suit, destroying the galaxy. Ahsoka told Luke and Leia this as well. There were no lies and secrets between them. The more they knew, the more powerful they could become. After nearly 20 years of living on Shili in peace, away from the Empire and plague of everything they could touch, the Empire eventually made their way to Shili. They made their presence known by destroying a large village nearby Luke and Leia's home. They could see the flames as the smoke travelled for miles. They couldn't sit around and do nothing, whilst innocent people were slaughtered. Ahsoka realised that now was the time to reveal the children to the galaxy. Before they left, she contacted Obi-Wan asking for his assistance in getting off the planet. She knew things were about to get out of hand. The three of them quickly went into the village to help the townsfolk in whichever way they could. As legions of stormtroopers came, the three ignited their lightsabers and began to slice them down. Squad after squad of troopers emerged from the ships and fired upon them. But they had trained for this. Blasters were not going to be enough. They prioritized saving and getting as many civilians out as possible. Whilst Luke and Leia deflected incoming bullets from stormtroopers, Ahsoka was able to gather over 50 surviving village people and help them escape. As they fled, Ahsoka, Luke and Leia followed to provide more protection against the ruthless empire. With the discovery of three hidden Jedi away on this remote planet, more imperial forces are sent to the distant planet in search of them. Three large star destroyers are sent to the planet's system in order to lock down and kill the fleeing Jedi. Kenobi is able to reach the planet quickly in order to assist them. Finding them quickly, he commands them to follow them as they go to his ship to evacuate the planet. However, as they make their way to the landing platform ready to escape, Darth Vader appears before them, with his lightsaber already ignited. This was the first time Ahsoka and Obi-Wan had seen their old friend in nearly 20 years. Emotions were rushed to the surface, but they had to contain them. Vader scowled at the four Jedi. He was ready to kill them all. There was no other way out of this for the Jedi. They had to fight. The four of them ignite their lightsabers and attack Vader. This was the first time Luke and Leia had ever been in a real duel. They were inexperienced and fighting Lord Vader, one of the most powerful Sith to ever live, was dangerous. This caused Ahsoka and Obi-Wan to focus a lot of their energy into protecting Luke and Leia instead of providing offensive threats to Vader. Vader was extremely powerful. He had no hint of light side energy within himself. Vader was able to separate the Jedi from one another, making it so that he only had to fight one or two of them at a time. At this moment in Vader's mind, he saw Obi-Wan and Ahsoka, and then two other random Jedi who they had obviously helped for whatever reason. As he continued to strike, he weakened their defenses more. Vader was able to use the force to levitate Luke into the air before throwing him into the wall, causing immense pain. As he tried to finish the kill on Luke by swinging the blade through his stomach, Ahsoka blocked and pushed him back. It was clear to Kenobi that Vader was far too powerful at this moment. What we have to remember is that Vader has spent nearly two decades hunting Jedi and killing them. He is literally an expert in the field of slaughtering Jedi. He has recognized their patterns and movements and how to exploit them. This makes it far easier for him to duel. Obi-Wan knew that if Luke and Leia were going to live, he would have to give himself up. He pushed the children and Ahsoka away and leaped at Vader, screaming at the children to leave. Obi-Wan couldn't last long on his own. Very quickly, Vader made it through the old man defenses and pushed him to the ground, destroying his lightsaber in the process. Obi-Wan was about to be killed. In one last attempt to save Kenobi, 
Luke and Leia scream out to their father to stop, immediately stealing Vader's attentions as he motions his head to look at the teenagers. Realizing that these two extremely powerful yet young force users are actually his children. At this moment, it means nothing to him. He simply looks back at the defeated Kenobi and cuts his head off with his lightsaber. End of part 1 I know this is a cliffhanger to leave you all on with Kenobi just being killed, but there will be a part 2 out very soon within the next month or two. I think the turning point in the last fight with Vader and the others was determined by the fact that it was Luke and Leia's first proper duel. Both Ahsoka and Obi-Wan would both be worried about them and focus much of their attention on making sure they were alright. After all, they were the only hopes for the galaxy now at this point. If they were killed, the galaxy would never be turned back to the light, so they had to be kept alive. They would both be ready to give their lives in order to save either Luke or Leia so that they can escape, which they ultimately do. I hope you all enjoyed it and leave any more what if ideas that you would like to see next. Thank you all for watching and may the force be with you.